Hey, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy Hobo here today, and as you can see, we are playing some more Madden NFL 19, but today we got a special one kicked off for you and ready to go. As you can see, this isn't regular Madden 19. I'm playing the brand new College Football 19 mod for Madden 19 on the PC. I just wanted to show it off while I break down the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. This uh breakdown this prediction video is going to be shorter because it is Saturday and I'm in a crunch to get this video out and also I wanted to show off the college football playoff mod so here it is my Clemson Tigers congratulations on the national championship and the Alabama Crimson Tied those are the only two teams available at the moment so if you guys want to uh, go check that out it's on the I believe the operation sports forum somewhere on there so go check it out if you're interested but let's get right into it. Saturday, 112, 435. Ooh, interception. 435 p.m. Eastern Time. It will be the six seed Colts at the one seed Chiefs. And um, the last time these two teams met, Andrew Luck orchestrated a fantastic 28 point comeback of Alex Smith and the Chiefs. However, this is a completely different Chiefs team with. Money Mahomes, Showtime, Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And that's the X factor in this game. I think if Patrick Mahomes plays a good game, then they will win. And I've got the Chiefs in this game over the Colts. I think it'll be at least a three-score game. I think the Chiefs will be able to pull away and pull ahead permanently in advance to the AFC Championship. Next up, 8.15 p.m. on Saturday, it's the four-seed Cowboys and the five-seed Rams. This game's interesting because the Rams... As we all know, they lost to Philadelphia, they lost to Chicago, uh, they beat the Chiefs, so really when you look at the talent pool and the teams that they've played, it's kind of all up and down, and then you look at Dallas and they just knocked off a, a white-hot Seahawks team, so it's tough, it, it, it is, and it's a tough pick to make, but uh, even as a Giants fan, it, you know, if I'm looking at this purely subjectively, but I've got to take the Rams in this game, I just don't see a way... The Cowboys' defense can hold this explosive Ram offense. I just don't see that happening. And I know that the uh, Seahawks had the number one rushing team in the NFL, but they couldn't throw the football last week, and that was their their major downfall. But the thing about the Rams is they can beat you over the head with Todd Gurley, or they can throw the ball all over your defense. And one of those two ways, they will beat the Dallas Cowboys, and that's my pick. I'm going to go Rams in this game. Next up Sunday, 113-105 p.m. The five seed Chargers visit the two seed Patriots. And uh, this season the Chargers have not lost on the road. They are nine and zero on the road. Incredible record right there. But they haven't won in Foxborough since 2005. And that's where they're going. So they're gonna need to they're going to need to stat, snap excuse me, their nine-game losing streak against Tom Brady and the Patriots. And it's going to have to come in dramatic fashion, really, because I don't see this game uh, not being a close one. This game is going to be close. It's going to come down to the wire. And I've got to give it wholeheartedly. I know the Chargers have a better record, but i got to pick the Patriots in this game. I just I can't bet against Tom Brady in the playoffs. I mean... As a Giants fan, I don't like the Patriots. I don't like Tom Brady. But I cannot bet against him, especially after that performance the Chargers put on last week. I don't think they looked mightily impressive against Baltimore. So I've got to take the Patriots, and they'll go on to the NFC Championship game. Then Sunday at 4.40 p.m. is the six-seed Eagles at the one-seed Saints. And this game, I think, will be very reminiscent of their first meeting in the regular season, I think it'll end up being a 40, maybe not a 41-point blowout the way it was earlier this year, but it, it might it might get a little crazy, and I think the Saints are going to run away with this one. I don't think it's going to be close. I think uh, Nick Foles finally comes down to earth, and everybody can finally shut the goddamn hell up about Nick Foles and the Philadelphia Eagles, and the Saints are going to put a stamp on the NFC uh, championship game, and they'll end up getting there. 
So if everything happens the way I predict it, we will have a Chief Patriot Super Bowl one and two seed, and we will have, or excuse me, uh, AFC Championship, and we will have a Saint Ram Super uh, <laughs> NFC Championship game again, the one and the two seed. So this is a, a pretty uh, important divisional round because we can send the one and the two seed. Well, obviously that's how it is every year, but I think this year most likely. It's going to happen where the one and the two seed from both conferences manage to get in to their respective conference championship game. And then I think that is the best of the best when you have the one and the two seed going head to head uh, in the championship. And this thing, uh, th excuse me, I don't know what that noise was that I just made, but uh, this weekend's games are going to be very fun. I hope that you guys enjoy them. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little preview of the college football playoff. Uh, Madden 19 mod. Make sure to pick it up again if you haven't already. Support those guys. They've done an amazing job on this mod. I, I can't thank them enough for, for bringing this to, to Madden. And You know, I, I bought an Xbox 360 just to play NCAA 13, and this comes out a week later. So, I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's a great time to be a Clemson football fan. If you are like I am, it's a great time to be a college football fan with people dedicated to making mods like this. It's a great time to be a football fan. The NFL playoffs continue Later on today at 4:05 p.m. I hope that you, or 4:35 p.m. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys enjoy some football, and I will catch you guys on the flip side in the next video.